Hi there, this is Jerry Capote of WallDecalBusiness.com and also of SunshineDecals.com. And today I'm going to show you how I reply to my uh, Etsy customers who, who would like to see a sample of uh, one of my designs with, uh, with their name on it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reply to a conversation that was sent. I'm going to go into my conversations folder because uh, one of the customers sent me this conversation. I'm going to click on it, and open it. And basically what they're asking is to see a mock-up of the designs with the names of this design, this particular design with the names Danny and Edward. And I'll show you what the design looks like. It's this one right here, the Mason baseball design. So what I do is I go into my folder and find Mason and double click on that. This is my template folder, by the way, and this is where I, you'll see all my Adobe Illustrator template files with all my designs in them. And I pull that up, as you can see. And what I do is I'm going to change the name. Of course, they want to see Danny. They also want to see uh, a sample of uh, Edward. So I'm going to control copy and control V copy that on there and I'm just going to use that same text there and then we'll type in Edward and because the designs are going to be the same exact uh, size uh, the one she's requesting to see is 22 inches wide this is this is where it's at uh, about 22 inches there now um, obviously I can't just file save this uh, this file as a JPEG because uh, it's too big. It's actually, it literally is uh, that wide. It's, it's about 22 inches wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pictures or designs. I'm going to, I'm going to select it. I'm going to edit copy, or I could have control C copy. I'm going to go file new. Okay. And I'm going to create a file that's 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. And the reason I, I choose 1,000 pixels. Is that's as big as you want to go when you reply to these uh, conversations and you want to include a picture. You don't want the picture to be bigger than 1,000 pixels. So I, I always use 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels, or at least I always choose 1,000 pixels width and then whatever height I want. But for this, in this case, it's going to be 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. Click OK. And so here it is. I'm just going to make it a little smaller so you can see it. Here it is bring it up there good now remember I edit copied from from the original uh, template so, so I'm gonna edit paste there it is now of course this is 1000 pixels and this is not this is a lot bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of these right from a corner I'm gonna hold down the shift key so I can keep it proportionate it's gonna make it small enough so it fits right in there and of course take advantage of all that space I'm going to make it as big as I can within that space. That's pretty good. And I'm just going to separate them just so, you know, they're not so close together. And so basically this is what the picture is going to look like. Okay, so far so good. So now I take this, uh, this file, this right now it's an Illustrator file. And I'm going to file, file, export. And, and I'm going to choose from the options. I'm going to choose JPEG. And I'm going to call it Danny Edward this so I can identify it real quickly it's going to be a JPEG file I'm going to save whoops let me uh, show you I'm going to save and I always keep it as RGB click OK good so I'm pretty much done with this uh, I can actually close this at this time so and I don't need to save this because this just was a sample that I was creating and of course my template I definitely don't want to save it because I want to keep it the same but actually I do want to save it in case they, they they decide to buy it it's already done so I can actually file save as and rename that one I, I don't want to keep it as Mason and I'm not going to keep it inside my decal templates by name folder I'm just going to drop it right on my desktop and I'm going to call call it again Danny Edward and it'll be in this case it'll be an AI file Adobe Illustrator file click Save normally have to click Save twice and click OK and so I can always go back and refer to this one okay to the to this file here so now I can close it so my original template was not harmed 
in, in the creation of this. Now, I want to go back to my Etsy. Go back to that conversation, right? I'm going to reply to this conversation now and say, hi there. Um, here, here's a sample. And thanks. And I'm going to, and what I'm going to do is attach that file. Click on attach. Go to my desktop because that's where my file is at. Type in, well, type in Danny, Danny Everett, and I want the JPEG file. Do not want that Adobe Illustrator file. It's too big, and it won't show anyways. But Danny Edward, I'm gonna click on that. Open it. Okay, so now it's ready. So as soon as I click on send, I'm gonna send it. Everything looks good. Send. And now when I go back into that conversation, you'll notice that here's my. Here's the part of my conversation. Hi there, here's a sample. Thanks, Jerry. So when they click on it, now they can see what it would look like. And if they like it, then they can purchase. Well, in this case, they would have to purchase two of my decals, and that would be great, and that would be well worth it. So yeah, that's how I go about showing them on Etsy. If they want a mock-up, um, I, I quickly show them what it would look like, because a, a lot of times they want to see, well, what would my name or my child's name look on that so that's how I do that uh, hope you enjoyed that hope that was helpful I will be continuing to include more instructional videos right on this channel walldecalbusiness.com um, so come by frequently and I'll see you in the next video